How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we're back with another episode of the Zero to Hero. Welcome back to the series and before we start the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content smash the like button as well and, and then leave a comment down below um, and tell me um, what do you enjoy the most about this series so in the last um, episode of this series we actually played one game against Lango um, it was a 1-0 win very very good win and then um, Ahmad Hazwan Bakri scored the winning goal at the 85th minute and then yes um, Salango is a huge club with rich rich history and then um they were the best team in the malaysian super league before and then i actually played um the other remaining game all the way until um until the 7th of sorry um until the 3rd of um july 2021 so um in the champions um late group stage we actually lost one nil against some um, shanghai sipg um not really um disappointing about this game because um yeah we we are not going to qualify to the next round because Pohang and SPIG is um, surely going to qualify. So I just sort of like, ah, just um, bring the boys out and then um, have some fun with um, the Chinese team. And then we only lost one nil, which is um, not too bad, to be honest. And then um, in the Malaysian League itself, we actually continue smashing the league. However, in um, June 2021, as you can see right here, we actually drew against um, Sabah and then we drew against Malacca for um, nil nil. And then um, back to the um, league again against Kuala Lumpur, we win 4 0. And then in the FA Cup semi final first leg, we won um, Kelantan with 2 0. And then um, at our home turf, we won it 1 1. Sorry, um, draw it 1 1. So, um, yeah, which means we are now going to play the FA Cup final. And then, yeah, interestingly, we are going to play Salango again right here in the FA Cup final. So um in terms of our squad there's nothing major to update. So in um let me just show you guys the transfer history. So um we actually saw uh, Muhammad Ideal Zafwan, our central defender because um he's already 33 years old and then um he approached me and say uh, he wanted a new challenge um in his career. So that's why we let him go because um to be honest, his physical is not that good, although his technical ability and mental ability is good. 15 leadership, 13 positioning, 13 heading, 13 marking, 13 tackling is so, so good for a central defender. However, looking at his physical attributes, 5 acceleration, 5 jumping reach, 4 strength, that's not good. And then 3 stamina as well. So I just sold him and then we actually bought... um. Zezinho, yes, Zezinho is a central midfielder, a deep lying playmaker, and then I think he's only twenty eight years old, so he can still um do a lot more for us in the future. Um, unfortunately, he's actually um injured right now, so he can't start um against Salango in this FA Cup final. And then um Simon um this guy Simon, yes, I'm not going to pronounce his last name. In the last episode, I actually showed you guys that he will be joining us. And then he is now officially our player, our striker. So, yeah. And then, um, yeah, this is just the update of the squad. And then in terms of the tactics itself, this will be the starting 11 against um, Selangor today. So, Shahizwara will be the goalkeeper as always. And then Mohamed Shahs and Mauricio will be our two central defender. Corbinon will be playing as, um, at the left. And then in the right side, um, where is it? Where are you? Matthew Davis is actually um out for a few weeks and then now um is not back in fitness yet. So I'm not going to play him as our right back right here. So um Barul Hisham will be our right back for this game. And then um in the midfield area itself, we got Aslin playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder, Kransniki to play as a deep line playmaker, and then Abdul Rahman will be playing as the anchor man in the defensive midfielder position. And then in terms of front three, we have um, Velasquez. Yes, and Velasquez is actually um, leaving us at the end of the season because 
he's going to join um i believe this one is an argentina team yes yep i think so let me just check yes argentina team he's just going back to argentina and then um gonzalo carbera will be playing as a right winger right here and then our striker i actually wanted to start bakri again because i'm um, in the last game against Salango. bakri actually scored the winning goal right there so i'm just going to put simon at the um bench on the bench and then oh yes let me just show you guys this um kit right here sawafi rasid yes sawafi rasid is back to our team again and then um if you didn't know him he's actually the first malaysian to play in the portuguese league yes he is um in real life i i believe he's on loan with um portimones uh, i don't know how to pronounce this game uh this name but then Yes, um, he's in the Portuguese league. So, um, yes, he's the first Malaysian to play in the Portuguese league. So, very, very proud of him. And then now he's back to um, our team again. So, he can play as a right winger as well as a striker. Or if needed, he can even play as a left winger right there. And then he's left footed. So, yes, I am still trying to, um, trying to see how can I play him. Maybe I'll just play him as a striker. Or maybe even the left winger as well because um Lucas Velasquez is actually leaving us um at the end of this season so which means next season we are not going to see him anymore but yeah I will just figure everything out and then um then I'll just update you guys so um yeah this is just all the um things that I have to say and then without further ado let's jump straight into the game. Alright, so right now we are in the dressing room and I'm just going to go with um hands together and no maybe um hands in pocket. Actually, let's just point finger and say um this fan has have been fantastic for us. Come on, do it for the fans. And then just going to um hands together and say I have faith in you. But nobody seems um very motivated beside um Abdul Rahman and um Shahiswaran. And then even Mauricio is um looking very aggressive right here. I don't know what ha what's happened to him, but yeah, here we go. I'm just going to change this to um 2D as well. So we can have a better look right here. And that's a very, very good opportunity for um Salango at the very, very first minute. Okay, I am just going to change it to extended highlight, shall we? Yes, so we can see more of the game. Okay, let me just encourage the boy at the start of the game. And everyone looks happy right here. And Salango in 20 minutes in, they have already have two shots and one on target. And meanwhile, we have zero shot. And our possession is actually lower than Salango as well. Passes completed um, ratio is also lower than Salango, and but here's a corner for us. And then, no, Gonzalo Crabera can't find anyone in the box, and Kran Sneaky can't get it as well. Okay, Sandro is now one on one with the defender right there. And what a good pass finding Ismail. Oh my god, he just sent the ball wide right here. I thought that would be a very, very good opportunity for um, Salango. Okay, let me just put a run at defense and then let's go. Okay, Krabera with the free kick right here, sending forward to Bakri. Oh, goes wide, but that's a very good chance for us. And that, um, that was our first shot in the whole game. Okay, I am just going to go with positive mentality. And then we'll see what our boys can do right here. Okay, so halftime right now, it was a very, very boring first half, to be honest. Um, two shots, zero on target. And then Salango have four shots and one on target. Okay, I'm just going to dressing room and then point finger and say I'm not happy with your performance. Yes, we are poorly in the first half. We can't even uh, make any um chances right there. And then I am actually going to sub on um Simon. Yes, I want him to be our striker right now. Okay, so... um. Here we go into the second half and then we'll see what our boys can do right here. Ismail got the ball, running down the wing and good tackle by Aslin right there. And then Abdul Rahman, our defensive midfielder, is actually not having a good game. It's only 6.4. So maybe I'm just going to sub him off. Okay, so Mohamed Sabri to Mazlan right there. What a good interception from Velasquez. Come on, Velasquez, dribble all the way through. But nah, he just can't pass the defender. And then, in fact, Salango's um, attacker just passed our defender right there. And then, Mauricio has to draw a foul right there. Okay, so, Abdul Rahman is not having a good game. Shall we just sub him off for um, Manso? No, I, I don't really want Manso to play as a defending defensive midfielder. Actually, you know what? Why not? Let's just sub, sub on a Manso right there. Okay, I have faith in you. Oh my god, this is actually quite boring um, final, to be honest. 
Four shots, zero on targets. Oh my god. I never see us playing so badly. Okay, let me just um, berate the team. Score a little bit. Come on. We need to do better right here. And Maslan. Krabera, good one to crunch Nikki. And Aslin got the ball. Pushing forward right there, but no support. Back to Corbin Ong. Okay, Corbin Ong, what can you do? Pass it to Velasquez. Velasquez dribble through the middle. Back to Kran Sneaky. Back to Mohamed Shahs. Back to Kran Sneaky. Our deep line playmaker right there. Pass it to Gonzalo Crabera. Oh, what a good pass. Finding Simon right there. Oh, Simon can't find the target. Oh. Okay, here's a throw in for us. Simon, come on. Oh, just sends the ball wide. It's just too high. He just can't keep the header um hot and low. Okay. So here we are. Ismail again. Just break through the defense by Velasquez with a very good interception right there. And then he's actually marked by so many defenders right, right at the um, touchline right there. Oh, but oh, Gonzalo Cabrera's shot is so, so poor. Okay, let me see what I can do. Let ju let's just go um, with pass into space. And then with a standard passing directness. And then maybe let's just... No, let's just keep um, run and defense. Because I think it's quite effective right there. We have actually zero shot on target. Oh my god. Come on, just um, shoot it on target and maybe we could get a goal right there. Okay, Carbera, back to Simon. And Simon hits it. Okay, our first shot on target. But then that's a comfortable save for the op opposition goalkeeper. Okay, be ready, the team. Come on, we, we need to do better than um, Selangor. Eight shot, one on target, more possession as well. Gonzalo Cabrera is um, running out of stamina right there. And then as well as our midfield midfield right there. We only have a Manso to sub on and now we are going into the extra time. Okay, I'm just going to point finger and say, not happy. You guys are bad. Oh my god, I'm not happy with your um finishing. Okay, maybe later we'll sub on um Sawafi Rasid, you know? Maybe we'll just sub him on um, as the left winger right there because Velasquez is actually not having a good game. Velas um, here we go. Velasquez with a perfect pass, finding Simon, but Simon can't keep the ball right there. Oh my god, what should I do? Let me just encourage the boys and then let me just, you know what, let me just bring on um, Sawari Rashid. And then I just want him to play as the... Um, let's go with a winger on attack as well. So two winger on attack. And then let's go. Let's see what you can do. You train in Portugal. So maybe you'll be better than um, some of our players right here. And what a good save from Shahiz Waran. But Brandon Gunn. I think Brandon Gunn is a former um, JDT player as well. He just scored the first goal. Okay, I'm just going to go all, all our attack. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, let me just check. Brandon Gunn. No, he's not um the former... Sorry, he's not former JDT player. But then he is um a very important player for Malaysia um, national team, I believe. Oh my god, 1-0 down. So now we are going into the second half right there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we are actually losing Selangor here. Because um, winning FA Cup is actually one of our um, aim, our target right here with JDT. So, oh, come on. You you guys surely have to do better. Surely has to do better than this. Okay, so right now, here's a highlight for us. Corbin Ong to Kran Sneaky. Pass it to Gonzalo Cabrera. Just pass it in front forward to Simon right there. Good one, Simon. Oh, you found the target but can't find the back of the net. Ah. Oh. Here, there's only four minutes for us. And then Sawafi Rasid right there. Pass it to Simon. Good one. Come on, cross it into the box. Finding Gonzalo Crabera. But is this allowed? It's an offside. Okay, I'm just going to whip cross. And then let's just go with a narrow, much higher tempo and extremely direct pass. I just don't know what to do right, right here. Last minutes in. And yes, I think we lost it. Yes, that's a good, very, very good performance from um from Selangor right there. And then we just lost the FA Cup final with JDT. Oh, just pull, just going through the post-match and going through the dressing room. And I am um, just say it is unacceptable that you couldn't bring the trophy home with a win right here. Not happy with the defensive work, but um to be honest, not happy with the attacking work. Because we have a lot of shot, but there's there's only like two or three shot on target. 
I mean, in the league itself, we are still top of the league. But then looking at the club vision right here, win the FA Cup, we actually failed this. And then the target that we set for ourselves was um to win the FA Cup, to win the um league, and then to be to reach the um, semi-final in the Champions League for um, within five seasons. But then we actually can't do it. Let me just um, pull out the... Um, pulled out our... Where is it? Our objectives right here. So let me just have a look. Um, objectives. So yes, um, our objectives actually win three league titles and then reach the semi-finals in AFC Champions League within five seasons in Malaysia. Okay, we actually didn't say, um, didn't mention about the FA Cup, but then I would love to win the FA Cup because, oh, okay, let me just check the FA Cup. Okay, so the past winner, actually JDT only won the FA Cup and at um, 2016. So last year, they weren't the... um. FA Cup winner and then the year before they're not the FA Cup winner as well but oh it's a very good game um for Solango to be honest Solango actually played very very well and then Taylor Regan their central defender put on a very very good performance 8.1 match rating and then our our boys are just playing poorly right there so yes that's our loss what a big loss um in the major tournament right there so i think we'll just move on one two three four five another five game um in the league itself and hopefully we can clinch the title very very soon so right now we are only five points ahead um um compared to the second position right there so i think i'm just going to play all the um league game because i think i'm very confident that we will win the league right there and then malaysian C cup um, let's just check the club vision. I think Malaysian Cup is not important. So I think I will be back with the last game um, of the season. I mean the league game, the last league game of the season. And then I'll just play all the Malaysian um, Cup offline. And then I will just come back in the second season right there. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end this episode right here. So if you enjoy watching the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football. So yeah, that's all from me today. What a huge loss in the FA Cup final. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>